Libra, oh Libra. What's up, gang, gang? What's popping? What's going on in the life of a Libra from the 25th to the 15th of December? Of November to December. Hmm. <laughs> Are you guys in the space of needing to have a conversation and not knowing which way to go about having this conversation? Or for that matter, keep it moved to yourself but having the confidence to move forward. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hey, Blue Head, this first time to my channel. I'm Oka. Also, if this first time to my channel, look out. I cuss. May cuss a little, may cuss a lot, just depending on what the hell these cards say. Oh, but I'm a cuss. So if cussing does not work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can further assist you without cussing, because the way I'm set up, I'm going to do that. All right? Thank you for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments, the donations, the readings, the love, the support. Thank you from the most humblest space ever. Also, um... If you're a new subscriber to the channel, <laughs> welcome to the family, y'all. We're the dysfunctional, okay? We don't fight and fuss, though. We leave that shit on other people's channel, but we do cuss. We share, we grow, we love, we enlighten. Posy vibes only. Positive teens, okay? This here will uh, not resonate with every Libra. This will be for the sun, moon, rising, Venus, as well as the cross watchers for the sign of Libra. I apologize. I'm tardy to the party. I've been going through a lot of things with my baby, so you guys got to work with me, okay? Sorry about that. We here now, so that's what the fuck we gonna discuss. I love you all a long time. Returning subscribers, hey, family, uh, I miss you guys. This has been a rocky-ass damn November. Scorpio season was not, it was great to me as far as blessings, but Lord being in my head. Lord thinking about all the shit I have to do. Lord, so understand. <laughs> This girl knows what her Libra rising heaven is. So you guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. I only had 32% on my phone, so we're going to rock this rock out with our cock out, okay? So for you guys, for um the 25th to the 15th of December, what I got for you intuitively, which was a bunch of shit, I got unwanted returns, life partner, forgiveness, karmic returns, collaboration, financial blessings, confusion, blockages removed, telepathy, lies exposed, respect, recognition, receptivity, tables turned, silent moves, state transitions, come on, new love, renewals, restrictions, remo or restrictions removed, dreams, closing cycles, mask off, contracts, Sex addictions, travel, subconscious, envy, tip for tat. All right, so that's what I got for you all. All right, Libras, let's talk about it. All right, overall energy around reading. You guys, I got the strength card, okay? Clarifying that, I actually got the Ace of Diamonds, okay? So some of you all could definitely be needing to speak up. Some of you all could also be um, really letting people know what it is that you desire, what you won't allow in your energy anymore. Some of you all have really learned the karmic lesson when it comes to self-worth and also putting people's needs, their feelings, their emotions, their desires before your own, okay? <clears throat> Spirit is saying, now you guys are actually having the confidence to do something about it. Are you being called to? For some of you all, this destiny, infinite, okay? For some of you all, this has to do with you setting boundaries. I'm hearing a renewal, possibly with the relationship with the Leo after some turbulence, okay? Or someone who has Leo placements or possibly another air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, okay? I definitely am noticing here, which I really don't notice much, but here with the number 11 here, I definitely feel like here you guys could definitely be ending cycles and starting something like leaving something and jumping right into something else, okay? And I'm hearing unexpected, so some of you guys don't expect this, okay? The angel message you guys got was angel therapy, Archangel Raphael. Give your cares and worries to us angels and allow us to take your burdens, okay? For some of you all, this is about packing light. For some of you all also, this is about you pushing forward, perseverance, with knowing that everything is going to be okay for you. It's not your responsibility to worry about the lessons of, because I feel like some of you guys are dealing with this, dealing with situations where you're dealing with people who are not even, not, not either being accountable for their actions or dealing with people who are emotionally just turned off or they're not really connecting with the side of you that has grown or that has ascended. You're, you're outgrowing the individual, outgrowing places, outgrowing spaces, outgrowing, um, some of y'all, this has to do with where you live, okay? You've outgrown a lot of things within your energy and you, some of y'all have a very feminine energy that is assisting you that's on the other 
other side that's assisting you with pushing forward, especially when it comes to matters of the heart, okay? Uh, rose quartz will be very helpful for you all during this time. So will the actual, um, this selenite. For some reason, I was drawn to pull out my selenite when I did you guys, when I started you guys reading, all right? So let's see, let's dig in. Spirit, what messages do you have for my lucky Libras, baby? On the 25th of November to the 5th, December 15th. What message do you have for the end of November? What can they expect going into December 15th, okay? So for some of you all, you're definitely ending cycles to go into new cycles, okay? Some of you all, yeah, a tower moment has to definitely occur possibly with the Cancer Pisces Scorpio, okay, in order for you to get your wish fulfilled, all right? For some of you all, there will be some type of catastrophic news that you're going to be receiving. Some of y'all, I'm praying that it's not actual literal death because I literally heard death even though the death card is not here, okay? But for some of you all, it's actually you acknowledging the things that you've allowed from a particular situation for so long. Some of you all are freeing yourself from it, and it's going to fuck somebody's head up because I feel like I keep hearing unexpected, but it's going to bring you a sense of balance especially when it comes to your finances, okay? Some of you guys could also be having some type of record. Yeah, some of y'all, some of you all could have to be making, some of y'all are making a decision during this time to actually leave a job or do I stay at this job or do I leave this job and actually focus on my business? Because for those of you who are business owners or who have been working on something on the side as far as building this sense of abundance or building this sense of like, hmm, Some of you all are stepping into your life purpose, and I feel like you're stepping into it, but there's this sense of ascension, like climbing up a ladder. And I feel like it's moving very fast for you. And though you want to take everybody with you, Spirit is it's not it's not destined for you to do so, okay? Some of y'all could actually be getting out of a friendship possibly with the uh with the earth sign, Capricorn towards Virgo. For some of you all, you're having some type of tower moment, or some of y'all may be having someone come and tell you something that you told someone in um and confidence, you know, and this person could be out here really, you know, making conversations with people being damn friendly, talking your business, okay? Some of you all didn't want to believe it or didn't want to see it, but it's definitely going to be exposed to you all during this time, okay? Some of you guys are walking away from some type of third-party dealings with another individual because you feel as if it's affecting your money and not in a good way. Some of you guys are putting up with karmic situations, and I feel like for some of you all, somebody, some of y'all getting the front row seat to somebody's karma, and I feel like you're moving forward and you're watching this person emotionally, physically, mentally stay still. And as much as they want to keep up with you, it's not coming from a healthy space. Some of y'all, somebody is only trying to put in this effort with you or really kind of start some type of like renewal or start a cycle over because they're afraid of you leaving and pushing forward, okay? Some of you guys could definitely be dealing with the uh, with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But in order for things to move forward, and this is definitely a give and take situation. Some of you all feel as if you're giving more to a situation possibly with an earth sign than what it is that you're receiving, okay? And for some of you all, some of y'all is moving away from that shit. You're moving forward. I'm done with the bullshit. For some of you all, this has to do with changing your thoughts, shifting your thoughts from this sense of lack mindset, from this sense of lack mind, like a, a lack mentality. Instead of focusing on what the hell you don't got, only see the positive things that you are building. Look at uh, what, what they say about that damn, that damn, uh, I've been seeing it on Facebook and Instagram, that damn 10 year challenge. Some of you all really need to go back and really review your life over the past 10 years. How far you have come, where you were, where you were and where, where you were and where you are now. And where it is that you want to go and really acknowledge and give yourself the recognition that you've been looking for in this damn relationship with whoever the fuck this is, okay? Some of y'all dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and this person is everything that you manifested this person. However, it's causing a damn tower because you wasn't completely detached from another individual. Some of y'all could have kids with this person and it caught you completely off left that they feel some type of way about you still. Because maybe some of y'all could have not dealt with this person I'm seeing for 11 years. Some of y'all has been eight. Some of y'all, this could be months, okay? Mm. If there was a Pisces that left you out in the cold and maybe you did a Pisces wrong in the past, this person is wanting to come in and bring healing to a situation. They want to come in and lay the drama to rest. For some of you all, you could be sitting still in a situation because you kind of feel bad for the person who you have to leave behind. But Libra, that damn, the, that damn wheel is inevitable, okay? For some of you all, you are literally being forced and in, back into that damn corner to end cycles with people. Some of you guys could also be going through some type of family drama on Thanksgiving. I'm seeing family here. And for some of y'all, there could be some type of family secret that comes out involving some type of paternity. There could also be um, 
a bit a bit of confusion with some type of feminine with like a feminine figure here this person could be an air sign gemini libra aquarius like yourself or this person could also be a fire sign um, Aries, Leo, Sag, or a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, strong Cancer vibes. I feel like someone feels kind of left out of your world, Libra. And the only way that they know how to fit in is by starting some shit. And some of you all are being called, being called to be the bigger person in this situation. Don't get caught up in this person's fucking web. Move forward. Ignore this motherfucker, whoever this is, okay? Some of you all, um... Some of y'all could also be liking some, uh... Some of y'all could like someone at work as well. There might be some type of work attraction with someone. And for some of you all, you're afraid to move things forward with this person at work, even though you really like this person, because you got some dysfunctional shit at home that you really need to close the door on, okay? Some of y'all will be making a judgment regarding a Sagittarius or a Pisces person um, during this time. For some of y'all, this has to do with a family situation. This could be the father of your children. For some of you all, this has to be... Uh, some of y'all could actually make it... Yeah. Some of y'all could be dealing with a damn Aries person or a Taurus person, and I feel like Spirit is saying... There's a need for you to be patient in this situation and not try to rush things and be too impulsive, especially if you have been patiently waiting on how to practically or stra or how to strategically remove yourself from a particular union, okay? Yeah, some of y'all could also have a Sagittarius that wants to come in and balance things out when it comes to breaking cycles with not being there or some type of abandonment around children, okay? Someone's going to take that damn leap of faith to balance things. For some of y'all, it's the damn Aries, Okay? <clears throat> but there will be talks about commitment Libra, some of y'all are getting engaged, okay Some of you all have an earth sign Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo that you left behind You can have children with this person Some of y'all, this person could also be using money To kind of keep you stuck Even though they're, they're very dry in the love aspect Or from the love aspect, okay Some of you guys have been patiently waiting also For some type of positive news regarding finances With your business, what's blocking your blessing Is this person in this situation That you need to take a leap of faith from, okay so let's clear this shit on up. Yeah. There are, uh, for some of y'all, you're dealing with standstill, things being on standstill with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And I feel like the standstill is someone's being stubborn. Someone doesn't want to get out their own way. Someone doesn't want to change. They're comfortable with being how they are. And as much as you try to pull, see, yeah, some of y'all, that's a damn air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. As much as you try to work on this relationship, you feel as if it's stagnant, okay? Some of y'all like it on the damn Aquarius, Libra, but you don't really know how to get away from this damn earth sign. Some of y'all got to shake two earth signs, okay? Let's get it. So I'm going to put the major icon over here because I'm going to clarify a little bit, all right? We're going to break down. We're going to break this shit down. Elemental, elemental, yeah. All right, so if you're dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, what we got? Where we at? All right. If you're dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay. Some of you all could have uh, made this person feel neglected. Someone was dealing with a water sign and they didn't tell them the full truth. Somebody didn't tell somebody that they were actually dealing with somebody at home that they had to walk away from because they didn't really want to miss out on the opportunity of this person. So somebody put a water sign in their damn pocket and this water sign is getting ready to move away. Okay. For some of you all, for some of you all, you could be dealing with a younger water sign or a water sign who you share children with. There's a fear of moving forward with this person because they've showed you that they flaky in the damn past. So you don't want to put all your eggs in that basket. And this person got some type of abandonment or rejection issue. So some of you all could be triggering this individual. Okay. And it's only helping for their greater good to heal. All right. So don't feel bad about that. Some of you guys, just like people are the catalyst to your awakening, you the catalyst to theirs too, damn it, all right? If you're dealing with an earth sign, there was a lot of earth for like Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Hold on, y'all. I'm getting y'all right. <laughs> if you're dealing with an earth sign, I told y'all a lot of earth came up in this thing. That's all the earth? Okay. You're dealing with an earth sign. Some of you guys... Some of you guys are dealing with someone, as much as they want to come in and give you a solid offer and bring balance into your life, there's a sense of them kind of settling around the ways that they make money. Someone's very complacent when it comes to how they make money. They're comfortable where the hell they at. And even though your damn dreams and aspirations is up here, they're comfortable with being down here. And you're going to have to make a damn decision. Do I stay putting into this shit and trying to build this person and make them see better and it's kind of like beating a damn brick wall or do I fucking release myself from the shit, focus on my money and look damn good out here? Because I do feel like when you with you guys doing that <clears throat> releasing yourself from a situation when you, that you've been constantly trying to balance i feel like look at this here some of y'all have even 
Some of y'all could even be like physically giving someone some damn money or trying to help somebody financially to bring balance or bring this sense of newness into their damn lives. But as soon as you actually move things forward and actually do this shit, this person can be on a great track. But as soon as they so focused on what the hell you doing, that they can't focus on what it is that they're not doing. They can't focus on what it, where it is that they can actually grow and do better. Someone wants to be the damn victim and this is stopping them from being able to give equally. And you're going to have to make a damn decision because some of y'all spirit is trying to take you from this, from this space of okay to you the boss. You the, you the boss. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> some of y'all are dealing with an earth sign who you have children with and this person refuses to be left behind they trying to find every fucking way they're going to be trying to find every fucking way that they can fit in your damn puzzle piece Libra and for some of y'all you just really want to be independent okay some of you all also could want to work by yourself there's a fear of you not having enough financially I keep hearing help is on the way okay someone is coming in to help you this could be this damn earth sign but somebody helping you with their own damn intentions but I feel like if they trying to play you why not be their damn reflection in that mirror Listen, y'all want to talk to me because I'm totally 100% in tune with my damn shadows. Don't try and play me unless you try and play yourself because I'm going to play you with you, okay? <clears throat> For some of you all, if you're dealing with an air sign, you might be Aquarius. For some of y'all, somebody having a hard time getting over some type of third-party relationship. For some of you all, also, someone has an issue when it comes to trusting that something is going to move forward. Somebody know that they have to leave something behind. And I feel like in order to be successful in this shit, two people have to sacrifice something. This person could be dealing with somebody that they have to lay the rest. But someone is tired of doing the third party shit. They want to be where they want to be. Say when you love someone, you just don't treat them bad. Oh, how I feel so sad. Okay, so... Libra, some of you all, it's inevitable. Some of y'all are going to be cutting off the damn air sign. And I feel like it has to do with some type of injustice when it comes to a third party. This could also be this air sign towards you. If somebody has already healed from that, they cut that, they, they cut that type of behavior off, okay? They've laid that to rest. They don't want that, all right? If you're dealing with a fire sign where things was actually sitting still, I do see some type of movement coming in, some type of actual uh, communication coming in from a fire sign. I feel like it's going to come in extremely fast, okay? Somebody is kind of tired of sitting in the damn shadows and stalking you quietly, okay? So let's clear this. Let's, let's uh, actually clarify this major kind of spirit. Why is the hangman here? Why is the hangman here? Yeah. Hangman is here because a lot of you all are cutting yourself from this space of feeling stagnant or stuck. You're not stagnant or stuck. Spirit is saying you are the tower in a situation, but you're sitting on your damn feelings and this tower can't fall. You are the catalyst to someone's awakening, Libra. <clears throat> and intuitively, you already know that. <laughs> Some of you all also could be trying to cause a tall moment in someone's very, someone's, someone could be trying to call, bring you a tall moment, okay? But you're very intuitive. You've seen this shit coming 10 miles ago, look, look, 100 yards ago. So you're already preparing yourself. Some of y'all also know a Scorpio Pisces Cancer is going to be a problem if you try and keep this person a secret because somebody, some of y'all got a water sign acting the damn fool, all right? So you're going to have to make a judgment about what you're going to do about this person because they're very obsessive, Okay. Again, didn't I just, I love when spirit work with me. Clarifying the moon, I got the death card and the damn um, daughter of wands. You're going to passionately speak to this person. Listen, I'm done, done. I'm over this shit, okay? Some of y'all are damn Scorpio on the top. They want to express their feelings. And it's up to you to make a judgment on how you're going to move forward. And some of y'all, this already happening. You indecisive. Do I close this shit out? You know, do I, do I wrap this shit up? Am I done with this? Because ultimately, I'm really tired. Some of y'all, this has to do with you making a decision between two fire signs. This could also have to do with the Sagittarius needing to make a damn decision between you and another fire sign. Why is the emperor here? Mm-hmm. Some of y'all are indecisive about what you're going to do with the Aries, okay? Or possibly what you're going to do... Um, Regarding a relationship with the Taurus, some of y'all are all in your damn head, but this has to do with your transformation, baby. You listen, you're transforming. You in your cocoon. And spirit is saying, don't try to cut this situation. Don't don't try to get out of this. You you they, they want you to move away from this space of being confused, but don't make a decision too damn fast because if you cut that damn butterfly out there, I mean you cut that caterpillar out that damn cocoon, baby, you're gonna kill the butterfly. Somebody's trying to make force you to make a decision. Some of y'all have met y'all damn divine masculine. <clears throat> and you got a karmic relationship in your way. That was only to teach you about self-worth and loving your damn self. Okay? For some of you all, you could definitely be... Yeah, somebody... 
A Sagittarius want to come in back in and express love to you. You could be pregnant by this person. Some of y'all just have to do with the Pisces or water sign, probably another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But somebody, yeah, somebody, baby daddy, baby mama want to come back. They want their family back. How's the food card here? Oh, I'm taking my own. The food card is here. Okay. Yeah. Because in order for this relationship with this damn Aries to be successful, some of you all have literally found this harmonious beginning. You found your person. However, in order to have that harmony, you finna have to cut some shit short. Because this person is coming in speaking very briskly about what they want. They know what they want. They know how they want to move Libra. And they're looking, they, they trying to swing your way. Boom. Okay. <clears throat> Why is the hierophant here? With the devil. Damn, y'all got the hierophant with the devil. Some of y'all have a very toxic marriage that you literally, I feel like some of y'all got away from this shit. And this person does not want to let go. Some of y'all just has to do with the commitment, yes, okay? So for some of you all, you have something, some of y'all could have children by this damn, some of y'all you could be standing this commitment, even though you acknowledge the fact that it's toxic. <clears throat> First and foremost, it's past life, and like, for, for some reason, my throat chakra got the ball me. My throat chakra was fine all day, okay? So I feel like, Libra, you're having a problem with speaking up, okay? This is past life, okay? So a lot of you all are in the midst of two timelines. With that damn Taurus, I see some of you guys are going Taurus of Virgo Capricorn. Some of you guys, someone actually is trying to offer you something stable, but some of y'all are being called to move away because commitment is on the table. You have someone here ready. Only thing you got to do is be this damn fool and cause this power moment, but you're afraid to move forward and spirit has already shown you. Some of y'all ancestors are slapping, slapping their damn head like, huh, screaming like that. <laughs> some of you all have to choose between if you want something toxic. You want some toxic shit or you want some divine shit? You want some toxic shit? You want some divine shit? Libra, what will you choose? What will you choose? Some of you all are really needing to go within. Take this time to yourself. Separate yourself from everybody. Some of y'all I'm also hearing start watching so many damn terror videos as well. And some of y'all are being called to fast from social media because you're comparing yourself to other people. What's, what's the advice for Libra? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Aries at the bottom of the deck. Mm hmm. You guys got nurture, Archangel Gabriel. As you nurture a child, you nurture your own inner child. Both activities are important for you right now. Libra, you healing. Some of you all are mending relationships when it comes to dealing with your mother or some type of aspect of a mother. This could also be a mother in law, okay? Sensitivity, Archangel Haniel. You are an extra sensitive to energies and emotions right now. Honor yourself and your feelings. Don't fuck with them people if you don't want to fuck with them people. Say what you got to say. You are safe. You are being divinely guided, baby. Some of y'all, I told y'all, you have strong matriarchal energy covering you. Some of you guys could be very sad during this time thinking about maybe a mother, a sister, or a grandmother that has passed over, but they want you to know that you are well protected. Honor your feelings. Don't be in this space of sadness. Know that. Spirit don't make no mistakes. It's funny how I said that. Look at this. Look at this lady. Baby, you being watched over. Some of y'all have a calling towards music. Focus on your craft. Focus on the things that you love and that you want to build. And let all of that bullshit fall toward the wayside, okay? That's Spirit's advice for you all. Lastly, divine order. Everything is how it needs to be right now. Look past the illusion and the underlying order. What you want. This is your justice. This is you re-tipping the scales in a balance from a balance from a balanced space. Libra, what will you do? All of this blue and this pink, it's a very strong focus on that throat chakra and that heart chakra. You know what to do. Spirit is saying, now move. Some of you all, again, counselor, this is moving you towards your life path. You are a natural counselor, and many people benefit from your guidance and reassurance. You're going through this because you're going to be used as a tool. You see that angelic being? You're going to be used as a tool. Spirit is bestowing a blessing onto your life, and everybody can't go. Esoteric knowledge. Some of you all are receiving some massive ass downloads during this time. What are you going to do with it, baby? You going to let somebody block your blessings that you didn't struggle and bust your ass to get to this space? Or are you going to speak up for yourself? Some of y'all got a fear of being by yourself, but Spirit is saying that's where you're going to find it. That's where you're going to find the love of your life. Some of y'all are separating from that damn Gemini. You're moving forward from that damn Cancer, and you're finding harmony within doing so because this is taking you into a new cycle where there is nothing but fulfillment. Get out your fucking head. It's easy peasy.
easy. All right. So this is what I have for you all from now to the 15th of December. I love you all a long time. If you need a personal reading, that information can be found within the description. And I send you all peace, love, and light, and happy Thanksgiving, y'all. Bye, babies.